You know, sometimes a father figure actually doesn't have to be necessarily be your biological father, you know? Like, you can have your, your teachers at school as your father figures, your brothers as your father figures. And for me, it was my grandma. What's good, that's good, everyone. My name is Pesant Lovu, and this right here is my YouTube channel. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, please go hit the subscribe button and do not hesitate to hit that bell to be notified whenever this face uploads a new video. So what happened today is when I woke up, I posted a picture of my grandma and my mom wishing them a happy Father's Day because they are the only people who played both a mother's role and a father's role in my life so I just wanted to say to them I appreciate them and that I am very grateful for everything that they've done as I was posting I was typing right my status and stuff and you know these keyboards and stuff they always like to predict what you want to say so I was typing happy fathers and what came up next actually i wouldn't say it shook me but i felt something i felt my my heart sinking into the floor sinking into a deep void you know so the word that popped out is actually absentism yeah happy father's absentism day i guess and i was like wow okay i see what's happening right here and this kind of led me to this video where i want to talk about my father's absence in my life so yeah let us get into today's video my father passed away in 2006 i was very young i was nine or ten he's passing I don't, I don't know how to feel i don't know how to describe it i wasn't really sad no don't don't get me wrong it's not that i'm heartless or anything i wasn't really sad because i really didn't like got the chance to actually know him better and spend time with him and actually have that father and son bond because he lived in free state with my mom and I was in Pumalanga with my grandma. So what happened is when I was, I don't know, six few months old, my mom sent me to my grandma in Pumalanga to live with her because she was working there and then my dad was also working. So I guess they sent me to my grandma so that she can look after me, I guess. I grew up knowing that, okay, my mom and my dad are in free state and I'm in Pumalanga with my grandma. It really didn't hurt that much because I really didn't get to know him better like he didn't, he, i didn't have a chance to have a bond with him to sit down you know and have that father and son bond but then i cried i cried i, I cried i cried when i was told that he passed away so yeah <laughs> Do I wish if things were different? I mean, sure, fine. I would love to know the experience of having a father, the experience of having, having a father figure in your life. But then at the same time, I'm like, if I would have like that uh, chance, I don't know, to, to get to know him and like to have a father figure in my life, then I wouldn't have like the connection that I have with my grandma right now. Because that woman is my everything. That woman is my mom. That woman is my father. She's everything to me. and. The connection that I have with her, it's 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 severe, it's, it's it's too deep, and I don't want to lose that. When they talk about a woman, my grandma is a woman. He, she's amazing, guys. It, it's kind of like both. I do wish I could like have a chance. I could have had a chance to have a connection with my my dad, but at the same time, I'm like, no. I'm grateful that I have my grandma who I have this connection with. So my father's absence actually. They didn't really have much impact in my life because I had my grandma. I'm not really angry that he wasn't in my life. Not that he didn't want to be in my life. He just couldn't be there because he worked so far, you know. Yeah, man, it, it is what it is. So I'm really not triggered much by my father's absence and i don't hate him for not physically being there but just want to say to everyone who doesn't have a father whose father is not present in their lives you know like guys look around you 
there are so many people who are ready to play a butterfly in your role there are so many people out there who are ready to show you what a father's love is and it doesn't have to be a male figure it doesn't have to be someone who is male you know like your grandma your mom your sister your cousin your aunt like everyone is out there for you just look around you and just appreciate these people and you know you you don't have to feel alone you don't have to feel like life has deprived you something which other kids have we are here to to experience life in different ways we are all experiencing life in different ways and we know that there's someone out there who is actually like hey i'm ready to be that that father feel in your life i'm ready to take that role i'm ready to take that responsibility you know so yeah guys that's it happy father's day to all father figures out there grandmas moms aunts everyone who is playing a father figure in someone's life who is actually being being there and supporting and just you know like being a great person so i just want to say to you guys big ups to you you are doing great honey you are doing great sweetie you are doing great 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 if you enjoy watching this video please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment tell me who your father figure is comment down below and tell me who you want to wish happy father's day to yeah guys my name is Pesindovu and this right here is